Today's Japanese croquet. パンコブレッド。How are you? My name is Keita. Today I'd like to show you how to make Japanese croquet. Croquet? Croquet. Hi, how are you, everyone? My name is Keita. Today, I'd like to show you how to make Japanese croquet, and which its main ingredient is potato. This dish is very popular in Japan from kids to adults. Today, I'd like to show you my recipe of croquet. Let's get started. First, I'd like to introduce the ingredients. First, 500 grams of potato. Big minch, onion, sugar, hunk of bread, flour, one egg, pepper, ketchup, mirin, soy sauce. This sauce is for the croquet. Let's make. This is all ingredients and start. Let's start cooking. Start cooking. First, making boiling water. Chop the onion. Just half is enough, and then next me measure means means beef, and next cut potatoes in half and boil it. During the waiting, the potatoes I gonna set up, and first flour, egg, and panko, and four covered panko on the croquet. Croquet, croquet. Put flour on a dish or a tray, and then put the tamago in a bowl and mix well with water. And last, put the panko on a dish, and all setup is ready. Today. I'm gonna use tonkatsu sauce, and which is Japanese barbecue sauce, and this one is from the brand of Prudo. And I put this one and ketchup. Very easy. Yeah, that's it. Next, cooking beef. Put meat in a pan and stir fry. After cooking beef, put in a tray and stir fried onion by low heat until like this color, and then add beef mince. Salt. Pepper, nutmeg, after cooking, put on a tray to cool down. Put oil in a pan. And prepare for heating up oil. I pour a small amount of oil, more than usual, for saving oil. After boiling potato, drain the water and remove skin. Very easy to peel like that. Next step is seasoning potato. First, put a one tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of mirin, and next one tablespoon of sugar, and mix all with potato and mash it. 
it's not much completely but still I can see tiny lump of potato and and then mix with mints and before making a shape I try to taste and how is it mm -mm -mm -mm. and I need more something salt yes put there and then pepper and mix again next step is making shape you can make a shape whatever you want but it's very important to make a shape not to block inside the oil this round shape I'm making it's very basic one and I recommend this this size and shape I'll show you one technique you have to remove air from the potato inside and so doing like like this and up and down and making a shape and that's it and put here and I shaped all potato and going next step next stage is crumbles panko first put flour all over potato and then be careful don't put flour so much but to not too thin only put and cover this amount of flour after covering flour next step is put egg and put a crumbled panko and covered with panko very carefully not to block the shape next one also same process put egg and panko cover the potato with panko completely and make a shape again and then put here after making all shape put in your oil and be careful this temperature is 180 after becoming this golden color it's almost okay and don't worry inside is already cooked take out from oil After making it, next is plating. Okay, put the salad in a dish and put two croquettes and put sauce on a croquette. And then put tomato and fresh parsley on top. And then Japanese croquette is done. It so looks so nice. And before becoming cold, itadakimasu. Okay, how it's going inside? Okay, cut in half. Check inside. And oh, oh, it's very successful. It's potato is not dry, still moist. And how is the taste? Yummy! How is this croquet? Looking so good, is it? Please follow my video to make together. See you next in another video. Bye! Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe. Arigatou.